The U.S. Navy is making significant strides in naval warfare by retrofitting the guided missile destroyer Zumwalt with the first shipborne hypersonic weapon. This upgrade aims to transform what has been labeled a costly misstep into a cutting-edge combat platform. The Zumwalt, which is currently being worked on at a shipyard in Mississippi, is replacing its twin-gun turrets with advanced missile tubes designed to launch hypersonic missiles. This change enhances the destroyer's strike capabilities and expands its operational range, allowing it to perform fast and precise attacks from greater distances. Each Zumwalt-class destroyer will be equipped with four missile tubes containing 12 hypersonic weapons, providing a robust offensive capability. The urgency for the United States to advance its hypersonic capabilities has increased significantly, particularly in light of recent developments by Russia and China. Both nations have conducted tests of their own hypersonic systems, intensifying the pressure on the U.S. military to accelerate its production efforts. One of the key advancements being integrated into the Zumwalt is the conventional prompt strike system. This innovative weapon launches like a traditional ballistic missile, but it then deploys a hypersonic glide vehicle that travels between seven and eight times the speed of sound. Despite its hefty price tag of approximately $7.5 billion, the Zumwalt has faced criticism and skepticism over its effectiveness. Designed initially to modernize naval firepower with a sophisticated advanced gun system, the destroyer has been viewed by some as an expensive blunder, particularly after the cancellation of its gun system due to high costs. However, the decision to equip these vessels with hypersonic technology reflects the Navy's commitment to enhancing operational relevance and adapting to the ever-changing warfare landscape.